Well, good afternoon. Welcome to another edition of That's Railroading. We're here on curve 12 at milepost 2.9. And that's east. We got a little joint repair job today. So you guys can, can help me make this uh, joint. Uh, came up here, oh, probably about two months ago, tightened these bolts up. I had a bunch of loose bolts. This is garbage in here. This is all getting cribbed out. Started up a curve 13, and this is the next place to come, this whole curve. So uh, we've got, this is a pumping in here. It's not holding good track surface, a lot of rocking in the cars. There is a slow order on this whole area till we can get it all cribbed out, but uh, this joint's going up and down pretty good. So we got a bolt that uh, came out there. Uh, I'm not happy with it. What we're going to do today is we're going to change these bolts in here, put all new bolts in, and get everything tightened up. This is my uh, track wrench. I don't, uh, we're not going to use it today, but I wanted to show it to you. If I only had maybe one bolt to put in, I'd, I'd use my track wrench. But um, I've got a hydraulic wrench, and that's what we're going to use today. And I love these hydraulic impact wrenches, they are sweet. They do a wonderful job, so we're gonna watch that. Uh, show you these track bolts we got here. Uh, these are called buttonhead oval bolts. They're grade five bolts. This is a, uh, uh, we, I don't know the exact torque that this is set at. This is actually a unit we borrowed off of Frontier Railroad because the one I had was broke. It's got a, gears uh, teeth missing off the gears in here so they got parts ordered for that anyway uh we like to put these bolts torqued about somewhere around 300 pounds and that's about what a guy like me can do with a track wrench uh i know the the area specs are in for grade five track bolts are uh higher than that but we've got 17 miles of jointed track and we tried way in the past tightening them up to specs and the rail just won't move and you got well, you got 17 miles of jointed track your rails got to move so over the years we went to uh, around 300 pounds torque and that is what has worked best for our railroad uh, the, <laughs> and we're unique to everybody else so i i don't know what everybody else does but let me show you this uh this track bolt <laughs> that's what they use underground they have 80 pound rail underground and that's what that's the difference that's this is what they use here i got a i got a fish plate from underground it's interesting too uh out here on the railroad these are these are joint bars some people call them splice bars some people call them angle bars but they're joint bars out here uh when you go underground here and when you go to our neighbors over across the seas, they're called fish plates. So all the guys that work track underground, I don't know if you guys know that, but there's, there's miles and miles and miles of track underground. It's all 80 pound rail. Uh, they got their own unique problems too. But uh, every, every, every time a guy comes out from underground, he's first thing he says is fish plates. I said, no, they're joint parts out here. <laughs> So whatever you want to call them is fine with me. But uh, then we'll uh, put that through there. Then we put our washer on here and tighten it up. This is this is the old style washer. This is a C33 washer. This is the new style. And I hope you can see the difference in thickness. I don't like the new style. I like the old style. Um, but you can't. Apparently, according to A&K Railroad, these uh, C33 washers are no longer available. Uh, all of our bolts are made in the United States. The washers and the nuts are made in Mexico. We tried the bolts from different places over different countries over the year. Well, way, way, way back, we got some from Pakistan. Actually, they had, had Pakistan written here in the head. They were not very good bolts. Uh, the Mexican bolts, we tried those, and they're soft. I said, never again 
will I ever get a Mexican bolt. They're soft. They don't last. Okay, I'm going to get off of here and uh, be right back with you. I got to turn the power takeoff on our truck on, so it's going to get a little bit noisy, but we got to get to work and get this joint fixed. Got a train up there loading, so let's get to work. Okay, I forgot to tell you this uh, hydraulic impact wrench uses uh, 10 gallon a minute. Two settings, 10 and 5.
Okay, thank you for watching.